Hi guys, welcome to this new sort of mini series that I'll be doing. Uh, it's a Slayer only sort of Iron Man, meaning I can only use drops uh, that I've got from the Slayer tasks that I do. So I can't collect resources the traditional way. I can't just go and do a boss because I feel like it. it has to be on a Slayer task. And yeah, I got this idea from uh, an old school RuneScape player called Vanaka. You might have seen him. But we're going to try and do that on PK Honor. And in the background, you can see I've already got Prem and Donate Status on my account. Okay, so starting a new account. And obviously, the first thing we're going to do is get our first Slayer task. We need to just sort of level up as soon as possible. So I'm just going to go to an easy Taskmaster and get something pretty simple. We haven't got much in the bank. And also, we've got limited food at the minute. Because obviously, we can only use food that we get from drops. So this stuff is going to have to carry us through until we get protection prayers in the future. Alright, so for our first task we got goblins. That's something easy, something to get the combat levels up as soon as possible. And it'll be our first task of many, but we're just going to be training our stats so far. So at the end of that task you can see we got these stats, nearly base 60s. And now we've headed straight back to get another task. This time we are going to block everything so that we get rock crabs, they're a really good training method and that's what we get next. So rock shell plate is the first of many upgrades. I've managed to figure out how to do live commentary now which is going to make the clips even better I think so um, yeah we just finished up rock crab task and ended up with these stats pretty good so I think I'm actually now going to move on to medium tasks. So we're just going to have a look at which tasks actually we would like so looking at all of these Worms and not, that's good. So looking at all these, I think we are going to try and get a moss giant task because that's how you get sort of dragon weaponry um, early on, and obviously the big bones as well would be really good for prayer. So I'm going to go ahead actually and just, and I'm thinking now, Basculus definitely don't need. Infernal mages give nothing. Jellies give offhand books. Bloodvelds are uh, too tough at the minute. Werewolves waste of time, and then I think that's it for now. Or oh, trolls as well, also a bit of a, a bit of a waste. So yeah. Okay, so okay, so yeah. Looks like our first medium task is gonna be Zarkets. Okay, so this task I can already tell is gonna be pretty horrible. It's quite a tough one, especially when I don't really have much good gear. I did just get one of these, I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, but uh, I still think Skimitar is better, so uh, that's going to be sort of out junk type thing. Get some more money. Um, but yeah, we have 30 of these left. Uh, I'm tempted to maybe train some range and just save spot, but honestly, I think training melee, melee stats is the way to go, so I'm going to continue just grinding. This might take a little bit, but it's okay. It's early game, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this task now. It's not taking too long. However, it is actually possessing a bit of a problem for me. Um, I need to get my prayer up so I can use protection prayers because how I'm going to get food on this account, obviously it's going to have to come from Slayer Drops only. Um, so right now I'm sort of low. I'm going to block the Sars because they're too... They're too uh, powerful for me, too resource intensive at this point anyways so we're going to have to rejig the uh, block list again and hopefully we're going to get something that gives big bones or even bones really at this point because I just need to get production prayers otherwise I'm going to have to do tasks where I basically have no food and I have to run in, get maybe one kill and then um, just repeat that which is going to make the process a lot slower so yeah Definitely, Bones is the next uh, goal after this. Okay, that is the end of our Slayer task, the Tsars. That took a little bit of time, quite a lot of resources used in the process, but actually, I've got base 90 stats now from that, which is really good. So, we're going to head back over to the medium Slayer Master now. We're going to block these guys because we don't want to do those again, uh, not at the minute, anyways. And we're going to see really what else we can get which is going to help us um, going forward and now we're going to see what we get next Ooh. okay jellies okay jellies jellies I think I can kill them in the catacombs but I think they're too strong so I'm gonna to have to just do slayer tower and hopefully we get some offhand books 
which can help with our defense but also with our attacking capability as well so actually jellies I'm pretty happy with that task one thing to mention as well the completion of that tar task was actually officially our first slayer task completed meaning our task is now one uh, as I've explained before I'm sure we actually won't be resetting the streak at any point uh, rune long sword now so yeah this is the first slayer streak task of many I think to come and I think jellies give one I'm not sure I'll have to check at the end but these jellies are, are so much easier than the Tsars you know they don't just attack for constant 10 plus 10 plus uh, so we'll be able to get a good amount of uh, combat experience here perfect I actually timed that extremely well that is 99 strength our first 99 on the account within about three tasks so uh, for some who don't know when you create a new account you get sort of like an experience buff I'm not sure how many hours it is but as you can see I get 42,000 experience there uh, again for hitting a 14 and so we're just taking advantage of that at the minute I think it's only combat so it just helps people get up to high levels uh, as quick as possible uh, in terms of you know the stuff we've got on this trip so far we've got a couple of these books I'm lo really looking for the unholy book because that's a quite a strong offhand the the book of balance is okay for now and then the ho this holy book they also drop that's used in in the very distant future for quests and we actually got um no, look at that room plate skirt i'm not sure if that's better than this though uh okay it's exactly the same so i'm gonna wear it <laughs> why not look like an absolute unit at this point with my adam on full full helm as well which i picked up as so some good solid uh gear upgrades nothing special at the minute but then again i'm sure all of this will be superseded pretty quickly by different and more improved gear uh, going forwards and there is the task complete so now we're going to move on to our next one see what it is and actually yes it did count as a streak so we're now officially on two slayer streak so i mean i'm not going to show you guys every single task i'm probably just going to show you when i get something that's i consider an upgrade or a good task in particular uh, at the minute we're looking for ones with bone drops uh, hellhounds uh, yeah they're okay I'm thinking where can I kill them I kill them in the catacombs alright so here we are with the hellhound task um, I forgot that actually this is multi but it's okay because they they can stack on one, one another um, and actually crucially we get bones which is great um, I know they don't give an amazing amount of experience but it's still going to be a start so yeah I'm just gonna sit here and get through this task and I mean fingers crossed I get brimstone key they're going to be really... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. So these keys are going to be fundamental really to this account uh, in terms of getting pots and things like that. Uh, overloads early on, things like that as well. Bones especially. So actually, now that I th think about it, I'm probably going to go and check what I can get from this key immediately. Alright, here we are guys. Our very first Brinstone key, which we got literally two kills in. What do we get? Okay. More food. Excellent. Oh, five frost dragon bones. That is actually life saving. Ooh, okay. Yep. 22k each. That's crazy. And we'll just use these anyways. Why not? Whoa, 50 prayer. Perfect. Perfect. I can actually get on with grinding things now without worrying about getting slapped. And just like that, we're back. This time we have the ability to protect, which is perfect. Um, just gonna make sure we're full up and yeah let's go I, I mean I really hope we get more keys like that because that was clutch I was running out of food and yeah thank god for brimstone keys so I mean part of this series is going to be about knowing what tasks to do uh, being efficient about blocking things being efficient with um, slayer perks because they're really important but also, for me, it's going to just be quite an interesting thing to find out where someone who doesn't have access to any money or anything like that, Iron Man account, whatever, can actually start getting some of these um, early game items. So, for Hellhounds, I've just got up the drop table in the background. These drop Berserker Necklaces, 1 in 200, which would be great. They also drop 
um, a Dragon Two-Hander Sword. I'm not sure if I would use that. I probably would actually. Um, onyx bolts, which is really interesting. Recoils. There's actually a one in ten k smoldering stone drop as well, which I don't expect to get. But there's also a tooth half of keys and loop halves for crystal keys. Again, that's going to be something really important for dragon stones, um, PK points, PKPs. What? It, yeah. So uh, in general, Hellhounds is quite good as a task. It's quite chill, and I think in the future, when we get Hellhound tasks, we'll probably be at Cerberus. I mean, this is in the future future. But for now, I'm actually quite happy we're getting this task. Uh, even happier that I got the Brimstone key and can now just um, protect from melee and kind of chill a little bit longer, which is really good. Okay, nice, we've got our first Dark Totem piece as well. I don't think we'll be using them for a little bit because Katizo is relatively difficult. Um, plus they need to figure out how that's going to work with Slayer task only. But I suppose we got them uh, from Slayer and Scotizo was a Slayer monster. But I'll have to have a think about that. I think Scotizo is fair play to be honest and any items I get from them. Um, actually, um, I think Scotizo is a black demon if I, if I remember correctly. So if that's implemented like that then I'll use them in that sort of way. And coming to the last kill of our task now and we've, or well, hopefully we don't die, but uh, we've actually got 99 attack now so on to defense next. I'm gonna use all these bones up and grab myself a new task and try not to get killed. Okay so I'm just at the shop at the minute, 2000, definitely not worth it. Um, and basically the first thing that we're gonna be going for is the Slayer Helm, although actually I've now just scrolled up and I can see I've got 300 points so the question is do I want to uh, get the bonus right now which is 3% or risk the chance that I'll get a crappy task and I won't be able to skip so actually I think I'm not going to spend my points just yet maybe in a couple tasks time when I have a bit of surplus that I could skip probably be smart to do that so yeah we're going to see what we get for our next task now and ogres ogres right I'm not sure what they drop actually big bones obviously Okay guys, just me from the future here, uh, this is going to be the end of the episode because I realised it was actually getting quite long. Um, yeah, that's episode one, I've really enjoyed it so far, if you like it then please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next video, uh, hopefully soon.